So you guys remember how I did a video last year talking about how strong the DCEU version of Superman is before the events of Justice League? If you don't, for whatever reason, you can click the link on screen to check it out if you want. Spoiler warning, he's really f***ing strong. Well since then, I've been seeing a few comments from you guys asking me to also figure out how fast this version of Clark Kent is. I'm not entirely sure why though, to be honest, it's not like he's all that fast. I mean, we've only seen this Superman casually breaking the sound barrier since his first movie, blitzing multiple characters with super speed, and casually keeping up with the Flash while every everything else was moving in super slow motion. Hmm, maybe you guys are onto something here. Well, all right then, let's take a look and figure out how fast the DCEU Superman is. All right, so like always, we need a good base beat to kick things off, and we get a pretty good one during the Man of Steel's first flight in Man of Steel. During that scene, we see Superman fly to a bunch of different locations across the planet before capping off his flight by going from the Earth's surface into the atmosphere. Considering how it doesn't seem like Superman flies all that high up, relatively speaking, I think it's safe to assume that he only flew the distance of the Kármán line. Sitting at 62 miles, or 100 kilometers, above Earth at sea level, the Kármán line is generally accepted as the edge between the Earth's atmosphere and outer space, so it makes sense. And if we clock his flight time, we can see that Superman flew this distance in about 10 seconds. Doing some quick maths on that tells us that Superman was flying at a speed of about 22,320 miles per hour, or about 35,921 kilometers an hour, or about Mach 29. Skipping over to around the end of Batman v Superman, we see the Man of Steel, after tanking a nuke to the face, fly from high up in the atmosphere to the Earth's surface during the fight against Doomsday. Assuming Superman started flying just before the camera cut away from him, that gives him a flight time of 53 seconds. As for the distance, you'd think it'd be pretty easy to figure out, given that we see the previously mentioned nuke separating in this shot, and certain characters mention the re-entry of Doomsday, Projectile 2. No apparent re-entry. Both of which prove that Superman flew out into space. But how far out did he go exactly? I mean, it's not like there's any mile markers out in space, and it's always been a little tricky trying to define exactly where the atmosphere stops and space begins. But if we take a look at the satellite map in this shot, it looks like Superman and Doomsday traveled about 250 miles past something called the Starfish Threshold. That's not some weird distance marker made up for the movie, by the way. That's a reference to a nuclear test known as Starfish Prime. See, back in the early 1960s, the US government decided they wanted to figure out what happens when you detonate a nuclear weapon in outer space, so they launched a 1.4 megaton warhead and blew it up about 249 miles, or 400 kilometers, above the surface of the Earth. Combining the threshold with that extra distance Superman and Doomsday managed to cross before they got nuked means that Superman flew a total distance of about 499 miles, or about 803 kilometers. And now that we have both our distance and our time, we can do the math on that and see that Superman, while battling Doomsday, had a flight speed of about 33,894 miles per hour, or about 54,540 48 kilometers an hour, or about Mach 44. That's more than 14 times faster than the official speed of the SR-71, which was confirmed to be able to fly at speeds of over Mach 3. Skipping back earlier in the movie, just after the first meeting between Batman and Superman, we saw Clark fly from Lex Luthor's place in Metropolis to Ciudad Juarez in Mexico. Now as far as the distance goes, it is a little tricky to figure out because of some slight retconning from 2016's Suicide Squad. See, it was originally confirmed by Zack Snyder in an interview with Collider back in 2013 that Metropolis and the DCE was meant to be located in the Chesapeake Bay area, which would mean that, in traveling from there to Mexico, Superman traveled a distance of 1,761 miles, or about 2,834 kilometers. But, if you're the type who pays attention to a bunch of little things in movies that most people probably wouldn't notice, then you probably noticed that Suicide Squad actually proved that the DCEU of Gotham is located in New Jersey. Why is that a problem? Well, unless geography suddenly got weird in the DC Extended Universe, there's no way Metropolis and Gotham could be right next to each other, with a body of water separating them if one's located by the Chesapeake Bay and the other one's located near the Delaware Bay. I don't know, it could just be one of those Spider-Man homecoming type things, but since the other movies don't really confirm anything either way, I'm just going to say that Metropolis is also near the Delaware Bay, because reasons. Anyways, if we assume that Metropolis is located somewhere by the Delaware Bay, then that means Superman actually flew a distance of 1,818 miles, or about 2,926 kilometers. And assuming that Superman left Luther's place right after the camera cut away from him, and arrived in Mexico right after the camera cuts back to him, then that means his flight only took about 14 seconds. Doing the math on that tells us that, in flying to Mexico, Superman was able to fly at a speed of about 467,486 miles per hour, or about 752,346 kilometers an hour, or about Mach 609. That's about 13 times faster than the 2006 launching speed of the New Horizons probe, which left Earth at a speed of 36,000 miles per hour, or almost 58,000 kilometers an hour. 
Jumping back over to Man of Steel, we saw Superman fly from one end of the Earth to the other while stopping General Zod from transforming Earth into a new Krypton. Now the distance he traveled is pretty easy to figure out. If you've seen my video about how powerful the manga version of Goku is, then you'll remember that we can't actually use the diameter of Earth to figure out how far Superman had to fly. I mean, he's flying over the surface of the planet to get back to Metropolis, he's not tunneling through it, you know what I mean? So considering that the circumference of Earth is 24,901 miles, or 40,075 kilometers, and like I said earlier, both the world engine and Zod's ship are on opposite sides of the planet, this means that Superman flew a distance of 12,450.5 miles, or about 20,037 kilometers. And if we assume that he starts flying just as the camera cuts away from him in this shot, and that we can stop the clock when he shows up on camera again in this shot, then that gives him a flight time of 1 minute and 10 seconds, or 70 seconds total. Doing the math on that tells us that Superman, while trying to stop Zod, was clocking in at speeds of about 640,311 miles per hour, or about 1,030,481 kilometers an hour, or about Mach 835. But that's not even the fastest Superman's been shown in the DCEU. As I mentioned in my DCEU Flash video, the fastest we've ever seen Superman flying was in Man of Steel, when he traveled from the Fortress of Solitude on Ellesmere Island to Mount Kilimanjaro in East Africa. Now I'm not going to go over all the math again since I already did it in that other video, you can check it out by clicking the link on screen if you want to see that, but I will tell you that I calculated Superman's flight speed at about 2,656,735 miles per hour, or about 4,275,600 kilometers an hour, or about Mach 3,462. Damn, that's crazy fast. And keep in mind, all of these feats are from before Superman's resurrection in Justice League. We haven't really seen a whole lot of speed feats out of him since he came back to life, but the stuff we have seen is seriously fucking fast. Seriously, who knows what kind of speed Superman's gonna be able to bust out in future movies. You know, assuming he actually does come back at some point. But anyways guys, that's how fast Superman is in the DCEU as of right now. If you guys agreed with any of my calculations, or if you have your own numbers you want to throw out there, then go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then go ahead and click that like button, and if you're new, maybe consider clicking that subscribe button too. I've also got links to my Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and Patreon in the description. You should probably check those out too. And if you want to see more of my content, then you can click the link to my last video. It's right there in the middle of your screen. Alright, and I will see you all next time.